Grade 7 Math, number 3.2b, adding rational numbers with different signs. Okay, so remember, a rational number can be written as the quotient of two integers. It can be written like this, like a simple fraction, as a ratio, or as a decimal. But the denominator can't be zero, okay? They can be written as fractions, improper fractions, or decimals, and every integer is a rational number. To add rational numbers with different signs, we use the same rule we used when adding integers with different signs. We add different signs, we find the difference, don't we? Then we use the sign of the greater absolute value, the one farthest from zero. So here's two rational numbers in decimal form, positive 4.5 plus negative 7.5. We need to find the difference, so we're going to take the smaller one away from the larger one. We make sure we line up our decimals so they can drop straight down. And 5 take away 5 is 0, and 7 take away 4 is 3. Our answer is 3. And because the signs were different, we're going to take the sign of the one with the greater absolute value. The absolute value of positive 4.5 is 4.5, and the absolute value of negative 7.5 is 7.5. It's just how far away it is from 0, how many hops. So which one's bigger? Well, the 7.5 is. And because it's a negative in the equation, we give it to our answer, our sum, as a negative 3. Okay? Let's try this one. Negative 2.5 plus 6. So now we're dealing with a decimal rational number, but this one doesn't have a decimal. And we need to find the difference. So we're going to take this one away from the bigger one. So what we do, because this one doesn't have a decimal point or any numbers after it, we give it a decimal point and a zero as a placeholder. See? Because that's where the decimal would have been. It would have been behind the six anyway, like six point something something, right? Because it's a whole number. So now we can subtract this because there's something there. Well, sort of. We can't have zero and take five away. But we can borrow from the six, make it a five, give the one to the zero, make it a ten. Ten take away five is five. Five take away two is three. Our answer is 3.5, because we dropped the decimal point straight down. And we use the sign of the greater absolute value that was in the equation, which is bigger and farther away from 0. 2.5, 2.5, or a 6. Well, the 6 is farther away from 0, isn't it? And it's a positive. So we're going to leave this as a positive 3.5. So remember to line up your decimals so we add the correct digits together. Can you imagine if you accidentally put the 6 on top of the 5 here? That would have been the wrong decimal place, right? So, also, remember to find the common denominator when adding rational numbers that are written as fractions so you add them correctly. We can't add a half to a fourth unless we turn this two denominator into a four. And then the numerator gets jealous. It wants to be it multiplied by two also, so it becomes two-fourths. Now we can add it to the one-fourth. And then the same if we wanted to add three-fourths to a twelfth, we would have to turn this 4 into a 12 so that they had a common denominator. 4 needs to be multiplied by 3 to get to 12's house. 3 gets jealous. It wants to be multiplied by 3. So we have 9 twelfths, and now we can add it to the 1 twelfth. Do you remember that? All right. So now we do have negative 1 fourth plus a half, and that half is positive, isn't it? So we needed to find a common denominator. So I multiplied the 2 times 2 to make it a 4 to meet at 4's house. Now the 1 got jealous, it got multiplied by 2, and we've got 2 fourths, but it's positive 2 fourths, okay? So now our equation becomes negative 1 fourth plus 2 fourths, okay? And the signs are different, so what do we do? We find the difference, because the signs are different. So now we've got to take the smaller one away from the bigger one. So now we've got 2 fourths minus 1 fourth. Well, it equals 1 fourth, and because the signs uh, are different, we take the one of the larger absolute value, and which is farther away from 0 on the number line, a fourth or a half? Well, actually, the half is, so it's going to become a positive fourth. So here's what it would look like on the number line. We would start at the 1 fourth, and we're going to add 2 fourths, 1 fourth added would bring us to the zero, and adding another fourth would bring us to the positive fourth. And our answer is positive one-fourth. Now we've got rational numbers written in decimal form. We've got a positive 0.5 plus a negative 1.5. So because the signs are different, we're going to find the difference, aren't we? 
So in order to find the difference, we need to subtract the smaller one from the larger absolute value, right? So negative 1.5 minus 0.5, well, 5 take away 5 is 0. We drop down our decimal point, and the negative 1 drops down because we take the value of the larger absolute value. We take the sign of the larger absolute value. And which is bigger and farther away from 0? A negative 1.5 or a 0.5? So it's going to be the negative 1.5 is farther from 0, and it's a negative, so we end up with a negative 1. See? Does that make sense? You need to remember this rule. Add different signs, find the difference, then use the greater absolute value. Okay? This is really going to help you. And then my two green like ones, like signs, it's like the add-ins. Okay? So now in our next video for 32, 3.2c, we're going to talk about the additive inverse, okay? So we're still in the same unit in the book, all right? 3.2. We're just going to 3.2c. Okay, I'll see you there. Bye.